forwards here, but a wall timing goes up again. Another layer of things. That one in their face. Crew are finding it really difficult to chew through this one and just get any sort of advantage going. Underhanded flash, round the side, round the corner. No connections with it, at least the kills going their way. Or is it T2? Still holding their ground, rooted to the spot, and it's risky. Klaus, only pressing forward to that advantage here. Case they're falling. Decay down to the single digits, double digits, now just for Klaus. The top of the plant. Bring around the Rosies. Got two of these players to watch for, but double duck discipline is the name of the game for G2. Rebounding backwards. Mosh for a little bit delayed and late. So the plant's still going down, dropping down from the rafters. I see. How is he managing that? Bringing it to the 1v2. Possibility here for Jonah P when he has that rifle in his hands and even the flank positioning. Crew might not be aware of it. If he'd gone up towards Belt, he would have had an amazing angle onto Klaus and Melzer. No way for him to know, though. Klaus and Melzer. They slowed all the way down. They were doubled up for a time, but now just watching for all of it. And with time running short, however, this isn't planted for Melzer. A rebound here from the snake fight. Not enough to push him away. Jonah P sticking this one all the way through. But Melzer ahead as he's going for it. We'll get it online now. It's a post! Melza way out into the open. What is going on there? And that is a bizarre one. Maybe thinking that the angle was potentially cleared here, but an, uh, it's going to be that player advantage for G2. Stuns up and everybody dropping like flies around him. Shy and Klaus, so much more to do here with the Cove. Propped up, placed up. It doesn't matter how many kills you get. Safety in numbers and G2 have enough of them players in weird spots and they can just hear the footsteps running so it gives Melzer that perfect opportunity you and timing he has to have called this though that Jonah P hasn't been cleared out towards it he thinks he can catch a timing thinking it was a solo player removed oh. vulnerable duck and Melzer I mean he just writes his own will there doesn't he with that one plant still coming down at least the lockdown clearing away for most of it G2 brains scrambled in the middle of this one and the player is still not expecting all of these positions Ratty plays abound, but it works. It's gonna get Crew potentially over the line, assuming that Trent can't do the most in this spot. A tap, util forced, and heat with the swing. In that acknowledgement, 18 out. There's four players here. And it does mean that there's gonna be no util hit for the plant to now. G2, they choose to take it with that brute force. Facing with the players, there's a high-low triple face again. In through the back of the side, and all the footsteps heard. Shy shut down, Melzer striking from behind, but at this point, too little, too late. That round reminds me exactly of what we were seeing G2 do to Cloud9, where they don't take 1v1 fights. No. And when he's playing Rainer, he's got to be getting the fight. Hell of a brawl occurring, and yet taking a fight to him. It's Melza through and through, Hunter's Fury. Seeking to offset the disadvantage that now G2 are staring themselves down, and it is a kill, it is some damage. But it's a 2v4. Toxin screen down. Plant down. Committed, Kesnet, he's gonna go down, and that is that prior damage done, too. Versus three now for G2. Setting it forwards with the drone. Trent trying to get some eyes onto any sort of target, but everybody ducked away, knife out. Might be regretting it, no! It's Leaf! The reactions from this guy it's off the Lambert. charts right now with Melza shut down. More than winnable, and this could be heartbreak for crew, all set up. <laughs> Nicely for the round win, as G2 are stealing it away, Trent! Delivering that final blow. In a match, really, where the stakes could never be higher. Jonah P. That's a nice punish. Leaf onto the corner here. Jonah P. He's being swarmed with the flash. The Lear, too much to overcome. Didn't know which way to look here. Another advantage situation for crew. Exactly. A 5v3 this time. Standing ahead. Can crew convert at least this one? Gonna have to. I'm sure the areas are accounted for here, but this is proactivity by crew that's being called. You can see it pressing forwards and away, but I mean, he's just way ahead of the curve still. Planned as well in an unorthodox spot at position, forcing out the wider fights, and respect has to be shown here by Icy. Realizing it's given up here. This time, the confidence is back for crew. And then Leaf again up here. Yep, high up into the rafters, firing all the way, but everybody blinded up, and they are big! Eviscerated! There's no remorse from G2! None in the slightest! If you hopped into the fight, G2! 
Another round here, and a fight in mid. Kesley shut down again. This is, man. I mean, this is the G2 playbook. We were seeing it the other day against Cloud9. Wow, what a read there, though. They have four players stacked A in the previous round, and then three players looking to reclear mid at the minute mark here. I mean, the re just the reads on what crew are going for are absolutely immaculate. I feel like the ults have barely even been a factor. It's no. more to do with them just having the players in the perfect spot every time. Look at it, as soon as the pit comes down, it's a reckoning. Push them back in a way, there's golden beams that'll point them directly towards the right targets here, but he needs to do a bit more of that. Thrash, forwards, pound for pound, equalizing on either side here, but still trying to dominate these angles. And this 3v3 crew, they gotta convert this one. It's almost necessary to stand a chance in this map leaf. Forwards now, up onto the angles, onto the edge of the molly. Damage being done to a multitude of targets. Still with that ult available, Leaf not in a safe enough position to use it. Waiting for it with a wingman. Forwards and firing off and away. Final bullet does it, but Leaf in a 1v1. Heat shuts him down. We go for crew now. They can only really exit out of the one side, but are giving a lot of space now with a shock dart. Flying forwards, damage softening them all up for Valen. The time to strike is nigh. Wingman pushing forwards, advancing. The double connection doesn't matter if it's high, or low. Shy is left alone. One v three. <laughs> Pop there of the Nana Swarm. Wingman now going to be trying to put this plan down to nigh and out, and this followed up and followed through. Damage being done with these guns, we're backing away. Watching for the mid angles. A game of timings, and Leaf wins it out. Two versus two with a minute on the clock. Plenty of time to work with for G2. They're not finding any G2 players. Both teams just trying to get the right read on things. Not giving too much away, but the body spotted. And out and open leaf. Can't be doing this to a man. The bonus rank conversion will be the nail in the coffin. And it's up to Kesnit to put a stop to it with only five bullets left. What can he do? Leafs out forwards. Heal online, reload forwards. But again, time ticking away. Not planning for him, a tap. Valen, force forwards and out, but wins the fight anyway. They have players. How are they going to be denying this one? It's a snake bite, a bit of spam, a few bullets. Will it be enough? Not quite. Plant now down, kills, collected crew. And the one's trying to find that advantage, but shutting them all down. Evened out, two versus two. It's up to Heat and Shy. Shy so the far away. Heat. He's taking matters into his own hands, and you're right. With Shy being so far away. Trent's panicking now. He's got to be thinking about the flank. Shy has just taken so long. Why would he be peeking from the same position as Heat? Surely they would have doubled up if they were there together. Uncertainty! And yet still, it's trying to wins it out. At least catching Jonah P. Overextended himself just ever so slightly. And look how active these crew players are being over towards mid. They're grouping up four players in mid instead of trying to spread out across the map. They're just following noise, yeah. trying to make exploitative plays because they're eight rounds down. And Valen's been playing him the whole time, just as he was yesterday. Crew do have that advantage in terms of the players. A lot of noise being made now. IG2, Valen just seeking to really press forwards once more. Kesner though, making sure to follow through and up onto the thrash. Dizzy over and around. We'll get the connection, but there's no plans online, so there's no real chances for Leaf in this one. Crew, look how nice that lineup is as well. We've Leaf, seen... he's been doing that a lot. Yeah, we've seen some great ones from him. And G2, it's always the rounds that you count them out in. It's always the way when you think the money's running tight. And this is really it now. It's turned on its head. Any sort of safety net, any sort of buffer the crew might have felt like they've earned themselves. It's all denied and ripped away. And it's one left to stand against it. Melzer against four players of G2. They've come prepped, they've come ready. The ults are online, fully committed it. Inevitable is the word that comes to mind once again here for this team. This map should be their playground. One obstacle removed, but not the next. With Valen's last final blow. That's the opening map going away at G2. Klaus actually using it early there. Out of B main. It's only Melzer, he misses the timing. Him versus Leaf with Leaf drop now, Trent. You have to watch onto multiple positions here. Do they expect a second in B main? There was no swing, it's a paranoia. Potentially coming from the side there, maybe. 
I think that was Valen just trying to push back the lane plays, and unfortunate that they'd actually caught on to him, trying to hold on to it. Crew, best chance they've had in a long while to try and do some work here, but they just cannot dislodge these backside players. The fuse stuck, potentially half, and it's turned all the way. Yeah, pretty standard take here by G2, looking to see if they can split themselves into B and through damage done. Icy just dropped down to 10, but he will survive, and now trying to lead that charge. It's crew following up. All that damage is being done here, swarming the available positions. G2. A lot of damage potentially there. Still, back's turn to him. Icy and Trent clean up the stragglers. Shy's got too much to overcome here. Those are huge duels that happen over towards Market. Cuts it up, nice and easy now, and it's gone back and forth between them. Crew buying so much time for them. The options are running short and shy of the mark. Crew just need to try and delay and deny. And they do just start with a wall, drop down in their face. B split here through Market at the same time as everybody actually passed through B main. Uh, through A main, sorry. Trend goes down towards tiles. I don't think that's really going to disturb yeah, anything. I don't think it's really going to be finding anything out here, but I see. Steps up to the challenge. Takes it head on. It's going to be met, though. He meets his match entirely there. Two players of crew seeking to clear him out. Now here comes the fast play. G2. Oh, spells it up. up. Oh, my. Got out, but just not in time. Lee. He's barreling his way forwards. He has carved out a lovely position, and he is just doing all the work in the world. 2v2 now. Spike was dropped down just into the... Out of sections here, off to the side. Valen's got to at least seek to retrieve it. Crew also making moves of their own. It doubled up. That one way is going to be difficult to get through. He does have a flash. Pop through it. Just disrespecting it. But he none the wiser. It's all collected by G2. Straight for the choke. Time for once now, at least. Hunter's Fury, no command. It's all going to be combined and collected with the kills here. Joe and a P. And G2, the squad, just dominate the position. 20 seconds to spare with a spike going down. Plenty of time. Spike planted. Only advantage left to Heat here is that the post plant positioning, he doesn't have to. And I love the decision from G2. They realized that they got themselves in a spot where they had a player advantage, but it was still going to be tough. America's. <laughs> I mean, it just goes to show the differences, I think, in all the regions here of Kesnit. I mean, he's easily dealt with, swept away in but a moment lockdown. No, no opportunity to contest no. this. Not at all. No way. He's just sticking around for about a moment here. The updraft dash play over into the top. I see. Still worried about a backside play here. Shy. He's full sprinting. Just trying to get into these open access. That's crazy. I, th I think Crew thought that was a fake. There was a couple of players, Melzer and Heat. They started checking over towards like tree and grass, wondering if G2 were heading in the other direction. Chaos in the camp of Crew. Just wondering how they can really bail themselves out now of this spot. It comes down to sheer mechanical ability. You've got to get the kills and collect them when you can. But again, it's a 1v3, and if Lee's hitting stuff like that. Now you're going to be missing. G2 have to respect the positionings here. I see overstaying it. Look at the Hunter's Fury combination, and it's fish in a barrel, man. Klaus, easy access, all the damage done. Everybody cleaned up and collected. But it took everything for Crew to win that. He's wrapping his way around, Leaf. He's the sole player left standing onto this site. Back of his head wide open for the taking. So Kesnit, with him dropped, they realize it now they've been played like a fiddle. G2, easy access now to the A site. So a 4v3, but you're always worried that one of these G2 players is still hanging around somewhere. You can take a look at the scoreboard, realize the Sova got the plan. So you're not worried about Trent, but where are Valen? Where is Jonah P? Well, there you know the knife. Now, where's Valen? And the footsteps. They're just giving the perfect timing. I mean, Jonah P and Trent, they combined it all. It's all based off instincts. And look at the damage being done, man. No easy fight for them. Crew is the best chance they've had yet. Double that facing it together. Overcoming. Will be nothing to remove this one, at least. For Crew, they've got to step back and respect these boundaries. But again, it's an open spam sideline that they can't afford to take. Now, Swamp's almost bringing them down. It's still doing the damage. Flooding right back at them. Crew, not willing to give up that space so easily. But now in a Hunter's Fury, this is straight from Bodehouse and has cleaved them in twain. They cannot stand their ground. And in the middle of all of it, Crew, they stand a chance here. 1v3. <laughs> Trent is praying, hoping 
Paper thin walls on Ascender. You really do find yourself in, but surely with the damage done, yes. Dropped to the floor, six to six. Crew love taking mid control, and G2 recognizes now to put four players here ready to fight. fight them and brawl, man. It's a clash. And the outcome of this one could decide Spike so down, damn mid. much. Stalemate called, but maybe calling for a refight. Now it looks like they were posturing up forwards. I like this pivot. I mean, yeah. look, they found the gap in what's happening with the defense. And open access to the A side door. Closed down in their faces. For a moment there, looking like Melzer wanted to take kind of an advanced position, but he's trying to hold the paranoia for paranoia. Leaf is on. I mean, he's putting in the, the steps. <laughs> I mean, what a hell of a marathon sprint. This is going to take the time down just a little, you know? This is like 10 seconds bef uh, of wasted time to some degree. It's going to be met anyway by the alarm bot. So now, position noted. He's got to make this kind of flank play work. With the door closed up, Paranoia sweeps its way through, but it's being met again. Matched in kind, Melza from that lower position. Leaf now has to get a bit of a move on here, but Crew surely set up for it. Didn't get out the smoke with the turret. Single point of damage will do it, Shy. He's fallen all the way through, leaping. Into the site, time is running against them. No Valin, time. there's no more chances, and that has been bought. And with that, pistol out on the board. Normally going to be not favoured. Leaf, it's going to walk about now, and he is going to be spotted. Oh. Lining them all mid. up. And crew are going to be lucky that they didn't end up dropping three players in the approach. Now, again, indecisive and making all the noise into the world. Don't know if it's going to be heard by Valen, who is tucked into that wine position. But the rumble steadily moves towards Tree Airy, even a paranoia sweeping up. That caught away. No did catch him. But it's already going to be called, I think. They know that they're going towards the A side here. With main control for Valen, very, very affordable here for G2. They can take their time now, doubled up. Just trying to put the pressure onto them. Attack, they see Valen. They get off the plant. Gonna be denying that, that space around with the paranoia forwards. At least with the smoke, dropped into their face. Counter spam, dropping them down. Jonah Blee! My god, man! Could have just stolen a few more kills there, but Shy stands his ground and stands tall against it. It's up to Kesner now. Attack. Only 13 seconds remaining. Valen. 10 seconds left. Just hunting for a chance. It's a double face. 3, 2, 1. Snappy. From the IGL, Valen, a bullet's left! Oh my god! It's just the time that's the problem. Hot flash. Rebounds here, cut to the corner, this is Icy. It's time to see if he can chop. Oh, oh ah, but he's team blinded! Flashed in the moment. It's supportive view until it just goes wrong. Valen answers entirely! Flying in the forwards, is it? The Molly and they drop down, struggling crew to try and get themselves and their players back into this one. Melzer at least will relieve that pressure, but they haven't dealt with Leaf. This guy doesn't matter on a perch of this position. You just cannot remove him from the B site, and he makes it so damn hard. And he can't do anything about it. He's got to get punished for that. Yeah, no kill inside. Kes this forward though, and already been cut up from the rest of his team. Defensive rotations. Abound. Lockdown. Committed. Hunter's Fury. It's all going to be expended here for a win for Crew. It all hangs in the balance. Updraft. Whack in the head. Icy just doesn't get the height he was looking for. Can't punish the exits. But Melzer's onto the side now. The plan coming through. And it's a call by G2 to go fast and lose straight into it. Shy. An attempt and a chance. G2! I've shut it down entirely. Melzer. Shadows. And a 1v2. Lockdown committed. Paranoia up close now. Swinging wide. Leave intelligence off the bloody charts there. You need to push Jonah P off the B main angle to cause some kind of loss of info. Kesson tries to swing this one. Surely his back's open. There's a paranoia right through that. And Leaf. Oh my, the support of utility. It's perfection at play. And for G2, a ticket inside around the world. They go straight to Shanghai.